so let us come back and see the next property of your d-block elements that is alloy formation so we've already seen uh, the list of catalysts with the d-block elements uh, for so now so we, we already studied in grade 10 what is alloy a combination of two or more metals is called alloy right so why do d block elements form alloys that is a concept basically very simple nothing big to remember so when i speak about d block elements when i have seen the trend in the atomic radii the atomic radii we hope you would have seen that video the 3d 4d and 5d series very close isn't it the 3d series 1 next 2 3 4 like that the atomic radii variation for 3d okay 4d in this way very close so here d block element basically the or if i see the variation in atomic radii is very less so variation one of the other variation in atomic radii is very less than when it is very less what happens <coughs> that particular metal atom you have a lattice isn't it so because of this the size variation is less i can introduce or uh, just uh, uh, inculcate some other uh, or combine one more type of metal atom into the lattice of that particular d block element and you can with the combination of two or more uh, uh, alloys as i said suppose i take la iron lattice the lattice size or the radii it easily fix, it fix fits other also because the immediate elements isn't it it will go at the other metal will come and incorporate and this will go and incorporate that will go and incorporate in that way that together they form an alloy combination and which is used for different purposes so most important thing variation of atomic radius is very less so what will happen hence it can fit other metal atoms into their lattice sites or crystal lattices forming alloys which is a solid a substance here solid substance metal right so here i listed out a few examples of uh, oh this is not great okay few examples of your alloys so why did i write this basically uh, <coughs> they mostly ask you what is mish metal right here i've already written mish metal is a rare combination of your it is a combination of rare earth metals that is your lanthanides and uh, here just see <laughs> cerium 25 percent lanthanide metals five percent iron and traces of sulfur carbon silicon calcium and aluminium so the uses of this also are given so here this tabular column will help you please note it in your books this may they may ask you for one metal what is mish metal or what is a combine or composition of bronze metal what are what are coinage or what is coinage composition of coinage silver they may ask you what is gun metal what is the composition of gun metal but the concept is this is your concept and the uses i hope there's nothing to explain in this you try to note the uh, alloy composition if the thing is clear i have given the alloy type of alloy and the composition in that and use again everywhere this mish metal is very very important please learn it practice it five or six times the composition cerium 25 percent lanthanide metals five percent iron traces of sulfur carbon silicon calcium and aluminium and it is used for your uh, this in uh, bullets lining also they'll use it so please note it carefully